Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back, and howdy if you're new. So today, we're going to be taking a look at a really unique and cool NVMe enclosure. I think this definitely deserved a review, so I could tell you about all of its quirks and features. So as always, if something is sent for review, I'm definitely going to be honest about it. I'll tell you what I like and what I didn't like, and we'll go into the overall experience, especially as a first time experience with this enclosure, I definitely ran into a few little, you know, speed bumps, I guess. But the overall outcome of it was definitely positive, and I do recommend this at the end of the day for hardware enthusiasts. We'll get into that a little bit more in detail as we go on. So we'll do a little unboxing and we'll show you the quirks and features as always, and you can see what I think. So without further ado, let's uh, dive right on in. So this is the DF3-C3, it's the uh, Y Defender series. It's a pretty sick looking NVMe drive, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna show you what's inside the box and uh, tell you a little bit more about it. We're just gonna do a quick little unboxing. I have already taken it out of the box and toyed around with it. I just wanna be prepared to kind of shorten the video up as much as possible so it doesn't draw out too long. So I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. You get your enclosure. The enclosure looks freaking sick, not gonna lie. This thing is absolutely beautiful. It's very hefty, especially once you get a drive in it. So they do give you a handy dandy screwdriver and it does have a little swiveling end on it. You get a USB-C to USB-A and you also get a USB-C to C. And this is a USB 3.1 Gen 2. So you do get an extra little stopper and an extra screw Screw. So Yoda Master, they sell hard drive enclosures, NVMe enclosures, docks, and even cables. Uh, just inspecting the packaging, I noticed on the back of it, it said that there was references to Orico or Orico. Um, that's a company I've used before, and they make really quality docks and enclosures as well. So I was fairly confident that this was going to be a pretty good product out of the box because I haven't really had any bad experiences with Orico. So this enclosure looks really cool. It's very different than any of the other ones I've reviewed or had before. The body is solid, it's a chonker. It's got a transparent side panel and it shows the exposed PCB, which I really like. I thought that was pretty freaking awesome actually. There's even an indicator light, which I thought in theory was awesome as well, but we'll get into that in a second. So here's some of the tech specs in case you're wondering. It is USB 3.1 Gen 2. It does support all the NVMe sizes from 2230 all the way up to 2280, everything in between. Transfer speeds can go up to 10 gigabits per second. Auto sleep after 10 minutes, and that'll protect you from excessive wear and tear on your drive. So I did test this on the ROG Ally and my desktop. Both recognized it like instantly, like no problems at all. Um, it's supposed to even support Mac and Linux and you know some other things as well. Price-wise, it's priced really good, actually. Um, it's under 20 bucks on their website. So let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. First of all, the design, it speaks for itself. And the outcome of how it works once everything is installed is definitely worth it at the end of the day um, from a hardware enthusiast standpoint, but your mileage may vary as well. Overall, it's a great enclosure, but there were a few notable things that I'd like to mention just to cover everything as unbiased as I can. So I'll start with the things I didn't like, and then we'll dive into the things that I did like. So the first thing was the user manual wasn't 100% clear, but it, it was mostly just this first step. It says unscrew it with a screwdriver, comma, open the cover. And that was the end quote. So I was like, okay, it sounds simple enough. So I unscrewed it and um, that wasn't the case. So it doesn't really explain how it opens though. So one would only assume opening it would probably be similar to one of like many of the other enclosures that I've had where it's kind of a similar vibe where it opens up. It just, you know, opens up. So the top would simply lift off basically. So after trying and prying for a few minutes, I felt pretty perplexed about how it opens. Out of curiosity, of course, the last thing I tried was to slide the top off. Skill issue? Yeah, probably. But, you know, maybe. But this is something that I'm very sure at least a handful of you guys are probably going to run into or may have already. So hopefully this will save some time and some energy. And maybe it's not a flaw. Maybe it's actually a feature. And it just would have been a little bit more relaxing to learn about it from the owner's manual rather than kind of fiddle around with it for a while. Because I probably could have broken some plastic or broken, you know, some clips or something. I, I, I don't know. I just, I found that odd. So the other thing I found a little bit oddly placed was the LED. 
it's fine it works as intended although it's a little small but it would have been amazing to see this led on the inside of the clear panel i think it would have just been the cherry on top having the inside of that pcb lit up oh it would have been so nice and the last thing that was just a little bit frustrating was the way the nvme is held down to the pcb it uses a rubber stopper and it's quite difficult to both seat and stay seated so i did see the manual reference the knob that you turn to hold the nvme in place but i didn't have that on mine it may be on different revisions or on newer models i'm not quite sure so like i said it's just something to note the user friendliness when installing the, the drive does take a little bit more hand skill than most, but at the end of the day, the looks and the aesthetics maybe do make up for that once your drive is inserted and you're likely not to remove it for a while. So if you're like some though, and you change your drives out often, and um, you know, it might just be a little bit more fiddly than other enclosures. So that's just something to consider. Now one of the things that I did like, the thermal pad, however, that, that is included with this thing is seemingly a great pad. Unlike most NVMe enclosures, they love to include thermal pads that came out of the Sahara Desert. And they're usually dry and cakey. These pads have nice stick and nice squish, and they can accommodate a variety of different drive heights with different controllers, different memory. Sometimes there's a little bit of difference. So with that said, I think it's, a, it's, it's something to notate as well. It is a one millimeter thick pad, which is pretty much the industry standard. So it's good to see that it doesn't use some bespoke thickness pad or anything. Uh, using the drive was seemingly flawless. I plugged it in, it worked right away. No software, no drivers needed. So I'll even toss up some benchmarks on screen. Didn't run anything extensive, but I did copy a ton of files and I did use it quite a bit and I enjoyed it. It worked really well. The max temps I saw were around 45C. Temp wise, it does utilize that thermal pad quite well. It could transfer a lot of heat from the drive to the enclosure. And the enclosure being aluminum, heat dissipation and transfer seems quite good and it's more than adequate. So it's quite shocking to see a Gen 4 NVMe drive do so well. So I was pretty happy with that. We all know from our prior videos that Gen 4 drives do get quite spicy and hot. So all of them really should be cooled properly. And I've even reached out to some manufacturers and asked their advice. So you can check out that video if you would like. But NVMe enclosures in general always don't focus on cooling. But this one seems to be doing a very good job at that. So that does get my solid stamp of approval. Once I got into using the enclosure, I really loved it. The aesthetics look so nice. Like I said, it performed well above my expectations. Copying large ROMs and files over did extremely well. And I haven't had any issues with that. So my conclusion is it's a really nice looking drive. I would say for most hardware enthusiasts, it's a no brainer pickup. But if you're on the newer side of hardware and your experience may be on the lesser side, it may be a bit fiddly. But at the end of the day, if you can get past that, it's probably worth it, in my opinion, with all things said. We're going to get back to some projects on the Ally this week. I'm trying my best. It's been a rough weekend. So I think that, um, you know, you guys have been patient with me and I appreciate it. And I, I hate to push out a review before I push out more ally content, but you guys know, I'm going to, I'm going to get back to some ally content. We're going to do a lot of stuff. I've got some really cool thermal mods that I've been experimenting with. I've changed the, um, thermal pads on the power delivery on the MOSFETs and the inductors. And that seems to have dropped temps by about 10 degrees. Um, this could be a game changer. I've also been experimenting with some thermal paste and different thermal solutions. I've been working on quite a bit of stuff. I've been brainstorming and experimenting. So please bear with me. I have some really cool things to show you guys. So as always, I really appreciate you guys. If you would like to drop in my discord, come hang out, talk to some other like-minded people who like to mod, like to chill, like to hang out. You know, we, we don't have a whole long list of rules. You won't just randomly get kicked out or banned, <coughs> uh, you know, for creating mods and helping people. So if you enjoy doing that kind of thing, please hop right on in. Links in the description as always. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I enjoy the comments. It's really good to hear back from you guys. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please feel free to ask me. It's just what I enjoy doing. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for the money. I'm, I'm here for a good time. So... That's pretty much all it is, my, my friends. I'm going to leave you with that. And if there's anything I can do, just drop me a line. So I hope all y'all have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.